here we are guys we finally made it to dolomite island so it's getting kind of swampy today but that's okay it's not too bad but it's gonna be about 85 degrees uh air temperature probably 75 percent maybe 80 percent humidity so it's swampy it's hot but it's not too hot and it's not too swampy and then nothing's going to keep us from getting to this island today i'm just a little bit off the river trail right there and uh I think what we're going to do today, I've been thinking about this on the trip up. I uh, stopped Shocks Mill Bridge to kind of check out the water. The island itself, from the tip to the tip, from the top to the bottom, up river, down river, it's about a half a mile. Now about half of that is uh, one main chunk. That's the big chunk that has the most acreage that's high above the river, as high as you can get. That chunk's about a quarter mile long, anywhere from 200 to four, maybe 500 feet uh in width that's down that way this is the tippy top the top half of the island is is cut up into like two or three different chunks i i, I think of it as one main island because the way it's the shape of it uh the top chunks are are all dolomite again the whole thing is dolomite what we're going to do is we're going to cross right here to the very tip and we're going to head over to the river side that is the side that looks on the main channel of the river. Although this channel here is carrying a lot more water than I thought it would. I checked the river gauge at Harrisburg yesterday and it was at 3.2. So that's that's nice and low. That's good. I know that you know that's good for the Conewago Falls. I've been thinking it's pretty good for here. I, honestly, I thought there would be less water here. This channel here that runs in between Lancaster County and, uh, and, and the island is, uh, it carries a lot more water than I, I seem to have remember it, remembered it carrying. So I'm hoping it doesn't get too deep here. I don't think it does. I'm probably about less, less than 100 feet from the rocks right there. Uh, but there is a nice chunk of the river comes right down here through here. So I'm not gonna underestimate uh, how deep or, or how swift. I don't think depth is going to be a problem. I think it might be, the current might be uh, a pretty strong. So once we get to the top of the island right there, we're going to head over that side and we're going to head the whole way down. We're going to try to make it the whole way, a half mile to the bottom of the river, right, uh, sorry, to the bottom of the island, which is right there where the river trail goes underneath uh, uh, Shocks Mill Bridge. And I'm going to say we're going to go at the bottom and we're just going to, we're going to go from there. We're going to swim right across to the river trail. Hopefully not swim. Hopefully we just wade right across because I don't want to have to come the whole way back up here to go across because I think by the, by then I'll probably be tired. Kind of sunny. Probably going to have some thunderstorms today. I'm seeing all kinds of birds here. I saw, already saw a blue heron. I saw a couple of white egrets. Uh, I just saw a, a whole little, little army of goslings right there. So uh, anyway, enough of this jibber jabber. Let's get wet. I think that's it. I think we made it. Woohoo! Ah! Oh, I got my boots wet. Oh! <laughs> it's slippery. We're at the tip of the island, right here. Just came across, just came across that channel right there. And the, actually we came across right there. And the, the current, the current's strong. Right, in, right at the edge of just pushing me off, sending me down. And you might be looking at this rock and being like, wait a second, this is not Dolomite. You know, this is Dolomite Island. This is not Dolomite. You would be right because right here is a dike. Uh, an intrusive dike of our old friend, the Diabase. And you can tell just by looking at it. And it comes from Lancaster County. It's probably about that wide. And it goes right here, goes the whole way across the river. Gut Road Archipelago is right here. Uh, White Cliffs of Kanoi are right around the corner there. And it, it's this dike exposed at the surface forms what's known as the Haldeman Riffles. And that's it right there. Those are the riffers, the Haldeman riffers, Riffles. They've been on you know maps for a long time. Let's make our way along 
the diabase, everything from here on out. It's all dolomite, I'm not lying to you. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna go down there and we're gonna see if we can find a place to take a water break right there because it's hot, hot, hot. I've already taken a couple nice falls on here. I think I'm just gonna put my boots on and if they get wet, they get wet because these, these booties are good, but they're good for gripping, but they're not good for ankle support. And here we are. At the tippy top, Dolomite Island. Dun, 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 dun. Woo! <laughs> and here, oh, look at that. Holy, yeah. See, I couldn't see this. We were over there. Look at those. Looks like two, two bald eagles soaring in the sky. Oh, there's Shocksmill Bridge. All right, here's the Haldeman Riffles. Let me zoom in. I couldn't see over this little, this little hump in the, in the diabase, but once you get to the other side, I mean, there they are. Except for the one, looks like one spot right in the middle. You could just walk right across the river here. Well, at least you could walk to the lower island. That might be Pole Island, but look at these, look at this. You can really see the dike. See my index on my pinky. That's the full width of it right there. See, I'm standing on it right across. And when the river is, you know, higher, like it is a lot, a lot part of the year, it forms the riffles, but now it's all exposed. Look at this, man. this is cool. Lots of dragonflies. We got thunderstorms in the in the forecast today. I want to get. You could really cross here. <laughs> uh, I want to get down there. There's Shocks Mill Bridge. Like I said in the intro, what I want to try to do is just go the whole way down the river side of the island, do little do little short shots into the interior and see what's going on there. And then pop out about the bottom, go across, boom, we're up on the trail. That's probably all the battery power I got. That might be all the time I got in terms of if it's going to rain or not. So. Look how black the, the diabase gets. Cobblestone Beach here. I see some tracks here. See this right here? It could be a deer track. Or perhaps a Augzilla. <laughs> there we go. All right, now we're actually on the top chunk of the island right now. What's that? That looks like one of those water-filled Jersey barriers. And here we are. fences so this is what the interior of the of the very top of the island looks like look at this whoa look at this beam here look at this that's a that's like a foot by foot 12 by 12 or 10 by 10 oh, wow where'd that thing come from covered bridge or bridge barn who knows like I said before it's the bottom chunk of the island the bottom half of the island which is really where you're gonna get the more elevation hopefully get some nice outcrops the top of the island never gets above you know probably above five feet above the river level if that kind of like the, the gut road archipelago islands all right so there's there's the Lancaster County side And this is the this is the the main the, the, the channel that runs in between the Lancaster side and the, the top of the island. All right, let's head back over to the river side.